Hey friends, welcome back. In this session, we'll clearly understand what exactly is a spin lock. Also, we'll understand the difference between spin lock and mutex. It's very important to know this and it's going to be conveyed in a very short and a sweet manner. Well, let's first understand what is a spin lock. The term has a lock attached to it, right? You must have heard spin lock. Yes, it's a lock. This lock causes a thread or a process which is trying to acquire it to simply wait in a loop. I mean, when the process or a thread tries to acquire this spin lock, it will cause it to wait while repeatedly checking if the lock is available. There is a while loop and this while loop will make them wait, will make it wait and this will protect the critical section from being accessed concurrently. Well, I am having a resource, I want to access it. Some other process or thread is accessing it right now. So I will ask you to wait indefinitely in a loop and once it is made available, I will give you access. That is it. This is called spin lock. The term spin is all about making you wait. If you are waiting indefinitely in a while loop, I can call you, you are spinned. You are waiting in a spin lock, right? The thread will remain active. The thread has to be active, remember it. But they are not performing anything useful. They are not doing any useful task. And use of such kind of lock is called as a busy waiting lock. Really, they are busy just waiting. They don't do anything useful. They just wait, but they are busy. Why, sir? Very simple. Your CPU has to spare a lot of time and effort and it has to give support for this to wait. So CPU has to spend its power for doing something which is really nothing. This is one of the oldest solutions available for critical section problem, right? Once the lock is acquired, once the resource is available, once the critical section is available, this can be freed or it can be explicitly released at some approaches where you will have to manually free it through your code. I mean, your code has to handle it, right? Either you will have to handle it or some operating systems really release it by itself. Now understand, this is again one of the oldest solutions which provides you mutual exclusion. This definitely wastes a lot of CPU time. Just waiting is, a, is the solution here. I'll make you wait. If you want to meet me, if you want to meet me and if I'm busy with somebody else, I'll ask you to wait indefinitely. I, I never know when I can come out of my current meeting. So I'm just letting you wait, but I'll have to ask you in between, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? The CPU is efficiently spending, inefficiently spending time for doing nothing. This is absolutely non-productive, right? This is absolutely non-productive. Remember it. I have given a piece of code snippet there in the top of a top corner of it. You can see that while test and set lock, I will enter to the critical section and once I am exiting, I will exit the section by enabling lock equal to zero. So that while off that says that I have to wait until I get the lock. I need to wait. So that is it. Now, what is the difference between spin lock and mutex? This might look similar, right? Mutex is also a lock. Right? Mutex is a sleeping lock. That's the difference. Now, what is that, sir? What is the difference? Very simple. It is exactly like spin lock in most of the aspects. It tries to protect the critical section from the concurrent access. That's what spin lock does as well. In case of mutex, in case of mutex, we are not going to use any while loop. We are not going to let the process wait indefinitely or thread wait indefinitely. Instead, we are putting it to sleep. So what will happen? The processes will thread or threads which are trying to access the critical section or to acquire the resource will go on to sleep mode. If there are multiple processes which are popping up, they will be put in a queue. So the CPU would not have to waste any time, really need not waste a lot of time in just doing nothing. But this approach requires context switching because I have to switch the context once the resources are available. For that, I need to update the PCB, which is process control block. I need to update the stack pointer. I need to copy probably some content out from stack to here and there. So all these are there. That's just complex, but still that's okay because we are not wasting the CPU time. Once the resource is available, once the critical section access is okay, the processes, I mean, if it is just one process, it will be allowed to access it and the lock would be freed. And if it is multiple process, they all can go one after another. That's it. This is the major difference between spin lock and mutex. Mutex is not a continuously a while loop based. It is not a while loop based lock, whereas spin lock is a while loop based lock. It is a sleeping lock when it comes to mutex, but it is a while loop when it comes to spin lock. 
that's it we made it very clear i hope if you have any questions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be able to clarify your questions if you like the channel and the content please give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you